Hello, friends. Congratulations on completing your day. Sit in a comfortable position. Begin to listen to your breath. Focus on its rhythm. Slow inhales and slow exhales. Let's start this psychotechnic by closing your eyes and imagining your day as a movie reel playing in front of you. You're dissociated from the events and can calmly observe everything that happened during the day. Review all the important moments of the day, what events occurred, what emotions you experienced, what achievements you noted. Allow yourself to go through this movie reel, being aware of each moment but not getting caught up in the details. Gently massage the tips of your fingers, feeling the pleasant warmth and relaxation. Imagine that each inhale fills you with freshness and energy, while each exhale takes away tension and stress. Listen to the sounds of nature to create an atmosphere of relaxation and tranquility. Raise your hands above your head and stretch as if trying to reach the sky. Perform several muscle relaxation movements smoothly. Head turns, torso bends gentle, circular movements with your shoulders. Now, let's consider a prayer you may have heard before from the German theologian and writer Carl Friedrich Ettlinger. And today I will ask you to consciously hear the text anew. Lord, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and wisdom to know the difference. Let's begin. Questions Marilyn Atkinson at the end of the day. 1. What have I done today for others and how did I do it? 2. What have I learned today? 3. How has today improved my life, or how can I use today's lessons in the future?
Upon completing this psychotechnic, you will feel a sense of tranquility and readiness for rest. We spend our evenings well when we let go of the events of the day, plan for the next day, and leave our thoughts at peace. There's no need to dwell on the past or worry about the future. Instead, having completed our tasks, we simply focus on the present. There's me, there's the evening, there's a cup of warm tea, and there's life. Gradually, you will attain a state of relaxation and confidence that today was filled with meaningful moments and you are ready to sleep peacefully and contentedly. Everything could have been much worse and what happened to you today is the best that could have happened to you at this time, in this place, and under these circumstances, period. Being grateful to yourself and others for the opportunity to breathe, create joy, and feel peace is what a happy life is all about. When we don't allow roles and space to overwhelm us, when we don't dwell on the return of pain and don't fall into the traps of manipulation, our lives are always full and interesting. Before sleep, I want to share with you the thoughts of the psychotherapist and physicist Arnold Mindel, who believed that the vacuum is governed by the principle of uncertainty through self-reflection and can even exert measurable pressure, the force of nothing. Here's how it works. Quantum physicists talk about waves reflections and fluctuations in the stillness of the zero energy vacuum. In the middle of the last century, the Dutch theoretical physicist Hendrik Casimir suggested that if two small mirrors were placed in a vacuum, they would be attracted to each other. In the 1990s, experimental evidence supporting this theoretical assumption was obtained. Particles or quantum waves in a box essentially push small reflective surfaces towards each other. If the mirrors are placed close enough to trap small waves inside and large waves outside microscopic, pressure arises, pushing the mirrors towards each other. Today, this pressure or force is called the Casimir force or force of almost nothing. Casimir assumed and was correct that to mirrors placed in a vacuum would hold back mismatched waves. These waves create a measurable force or pressure pressing the mirrors towards each other. A kind of volume resonance arises creating pressure or vacuum pressure In other words, in any vacuum at low temperatures, in the zero energy field, there is always a potential Casimir force. If instead of mirrors and resonating empty volumes, you think about resonance with your deepest self and your empty mind, then Casimir's force of nothing, generating vacuum pressure, becomes a metaphor or example of how resonance with our deepest self generates pressure or force that leads us.
when our everyday mind is in a state of relaxation, when we contemplate the slightest impulse, we can realize that awareness is not just a teacher, but also a bodily force trying to move us. Just lie down in bed at night and wait. From time to time, a dream literally pushes you out of bed in a certain direction. Everyone knows that as soon as we feel or know something, it prompts or irritates us, pushing us to action. For centuries, people have meditated to tap into their spontaneous creative abilities. In a sense, Casimir's force of nothing represents yet another form of creative force that we feel in meditation. Metaphorically speaking, reflecting mirrors imply that the common principle underlying the zero energy Casimir force is self-reflective awareness. Immediate awareness requires differentiation, which in turn is associated with disturbances and microscopic pressures always present in our universe. Arnold Mendel said that he thinks of this tiny Pressure is a force of silence or force of awareness. End your day with answers to three questions. Release all the events of the day with gratitude. Calm your mind and go to sleep. Morning is wiser than evening. Dissolve into your dreams and feel the lightness of life. Then in the comments, you can write your ways to calm your mind before sleep. Everything changes for the better beyond your control. And all that is required of you is to be alive. Principles are guides and advisors. Accept them as long as they are useful. Awareness of the path is self-evident. It manifests as the Tao which cannot be told. Sensory awareness is inexpressible, perceived only by the mind, and is fleeting. It is a great teacher. Awareness of the path that your body possesses is mystical, akin to a dream, and real. The pressure of awareness prompts us to consciousness and acts as the Casimir force in the theory of the vacuum zero state. The universe may revolve around a new paradigm that includes mystical aspects of awareness, the path and bugs. Florinda Donner suggests there is a parallel world existing around us, a force of energy we do not let in because we are too busy upholding what dictates social order. Dreaming is one of the primary methods for perceiving this parallel world. Thank you for being with me until the end of the evening meditation. And if you like, you can continue listening to the sounds. Be happy. I love you.